A lot of people are getting this wrong. Did you know that Bitcoin only makes one or two major moves per year? That's it. Did you also know Bitcoin hasn't made its major move yet as of filming this video? But did you also know it's getting fascinatingly close to making that move? In today's video, if you wait until the end of the video, I'm gonna give you our secret weapon that we're using to monitor and track Bitcoin's every move to see that major move coming in real time. It's time for you to buckle up. If you're new here, my name is Steve. I'm gonna help you have a lot less stress and a lot more success by focusing on the facts and the charts. Let's jump straight in, hit that subscribe button, join the movement. Now, this is our Gaussian channel, quickly becoming one of the most popular charts on our channel. Focus on this green channel here. This is actually quicksand. Bitcoin fell into the quicksand 120 days ago. We made a video about this. A lot of people told us we're slightly crazy that we're going to be inside of this quicksand for some time. But that was just based on the facts and the charts. In this channel, we don't base anything on emotion. The point is, when Bitcoin's in a strong uptrend and we come back and retrace and we enter our Gaussian channel, it acts as quicksand. Not just in the past couple of weeks, we've been stuck in here 120 days, but if you scroll back in Bitcoin's 10-year history, anytime we've been in an uptrend, and we come back to correct inside of the Gaussian channel, we remain in that quicksand for an average of one year. That's not my emotional opinion. That's not what I hope to happen or what I predict to happen. It's what is the facts in the charts, right? The facts speak for themselves. If we scroll back in history, anytime we're in a strong uptrend, uptrend we, we have a pullback, we enter the Gaussian channel, it pulls us in just like a, a thick quicksand and we just can't escape it for an average of one year, all right? So you can scroll back on these four data points, the first data point happening back in 2011, and you can see data points two, three, and four. We're currently in data point number five, where last week we had a chance to get out of the quicksand. It was just too strong. So now we're 120 days later, we're still in the quicksand, nothing changed, and we're showing signs of weakness, which we'll get into in our following charts. The next chart is on a two week chart, all right? We have price action above, we have the stochastic RSI below. We have some problems happening with the stochastic RSI. You can see that we're showing signs that we may wanna have a cross down, meaning that our momentum is about to shift to the downside, which we absolutely do not want. That would be devastating for Bitcoin, especially on the two week chart. We have not had a cross yet, but it's something to pay close attention to. On the price action, you can see that we have strong support at 45K. We're trying to close this candle above. This candle is relatively new. It still has 12 days to close, but the price I want you to watch over the next 12 days is this 45K. If we break that level, it's likely that we're gonna come down to test lower levels. And the next major level that we formed on the two week chart is right around 32K. So clearly, if you want prices to drop, then you watch this level like a hawk and you also watch the stochastic RSI and those two things may make you happy. But the key is never to get too excited when prices are going up and never to get too down when prices are going down. Stay level headed and that is the key to winning this game, okay? Now, if you want further information, you can follow us over on the Twitters, Crypto Crew U there let's get into the daily chart a lot of people want to know hey what's happening today what's going to happen tomorrow you know those things will not make you a lot of money i just want to be blatantly honest with you it's it's really dramatized in crypto what's go what's going on today and tomorrow those things are completely irrelevant we will cover it because i know a lot of people want it this will not make you a lot of money what's happening on the weekly chart the two-week chart the monthly chart that'll make you a lot of money or lose you a lot of money here it's, it's almost, a, a, it's just added to your emotional chaos, but we will cover it. Okay, so this red line, this red line is the 200 day moving average that's used by a lot of traditional long-term investors in a lot of different markets. It's a major thing, it's something to pay attention to. We need to start holding support on this 200 day moving average. We've kind of been battling with it, you know, since the beginning of August. 
and we've held some support for a period of time. We've also been in a period of weakness, currently in a period of weakness. You can see that just now, as we're filming this video, we have poked our head above the 200 day, although we haven't closed uh, that yet. So it's, it's really uh, something to pay attention to. But looking at the levels of support and resistance, this level right here of 45,000, right? This is key. This is a key level. We wanna to start to hold that uh, 46, just about $46,000 as support. You can see the next level drops all the way down here to 40. 40, we have a pretty strong base. We should feel comfortable and confident with 40 that we should hold support at 40. Obviously, if we break 40, it's, um, it's gonna be a free fall, okay? So if you're a Bitcoin bull, you do not want to see that. But we'll start with price action. We are holding current support on the 21 week EMA. Good sign, however, we still haven't closed. We still have five days to close this candle and currently we are at roughly 43.4K for the 21 EMA. We wanna continue holding support there. Some bad news happening with the RSI. The RSI has just gone bearish. And again, this is not our emotional opinion. These are just the facts. If you pull up the weekly chart and you go to about 50, six on the weekly chart and look at the 10 year history, this is a good indication of bull and bear. Okay, when we're above this 56 level, we're very bullish. And when we're below, we're bearish. It's just a fact in the chart. It's a good indication. I want you to add it to your weekly chart and it'll help keep you level headed. There's a couple trends to watch in this weekly RSI. It dates all the way back to 2018 where we had a low, we had a high, we had a higher low and a higher high. This is a strong indication of a very big picture uptrend that Bitcoin has been in since 2018. Good news. Bad news is in the short term, since our highest high here in January of this year, we've been in a downtrend. Again, not our emotional opinion, just the facts. We had a high, a lower high, another lower high, another lower high, and this got rejected here, making yet another lower high. What we don't want to see is another lower low because the whole way down, we've been making lower lows. Our low right now, the lowest one is 41.63 indicated right here with our recent higher low. If we make a lower low than this, we're in trouble. So what we wanna see is Bitcoin get above here this 65 level on the weekly and start to reverse this trend, start to build out a base and start to move upward in the trajectory and, and hopefully get to another higher high. So in the big picture since 2018, we'll come down and this will be our low and we'll come up and make another high. That's what you wanna see. So bearish short term, we wanna see that trend continue. And then you can see in the stochastic RSI, we spent an, an astronomical amount of time below this level here with the stochastic RSI. We shot up, that was our momentum. We covered it on this channel and then we've just had a breach downward. Our momentum is heading down with bearish signals here with holding the 21 week EMA and it all boils down to the NVT HV. This is our custom indicator here and this is gonna tell us the largest move of the year and simply put, when you see this line, this line that's red and white, when you see it go below this yellow line, that's when we're gonna make our largest move of the year. You can see the largest move uh, happened in 2020, November of 2020, and we are roughly 18,000 and we went to 65, right? The largest move of the year happens when the volatility is low. Okay, so this is essentially combining the MVT and the HV, HV being historical volatility. When the volatility gets really low, it's the calm before the storm, all right? If you've ever lived at a beach and you have a day with no wind and nothing moving, the next days after that are usually a crazy storm. It's the same thing here, right? So get ready for a storm. Has the storm happened yet in 2021? No. And then you may say, well, Steve, how did we not have Bitcoin's biggest move of the year? We went from like 30K up to 65 and back down to 30 and then up to 52. These are just the facts in the charts. Bitcoin is preparing for something bigger. It's going to put these moves to shame. All right. The key is, is it going to be to the upside or the downside? And this is where our secret weapon comes in. OK, if we get below this level and we come out of this level in white, 
we're going to plummet very heavily on average about 50 percent and you can go back to this move right here we we're at about 10k and we plummeted all the way down to 3000 something because we came out in white when we come out in red as we did here we went from 18 to 65 okay red is bullish white is bearish but the key is are we coming out from below this yellow line all right and you can scroll back in history look at this one we were here roughly 4k we came out of it in red and we went from 4k to 14 okay so this is the key this is our secret weapon we're going to keep a close eye on it right now we're at a level of 54 we need to get below 40 okay it's going to take some time but technically we've been in a, a downtrend since april 2020 you can see this was a lower high this was another lower high so over time we're going to get down there and that's when the largest move is going to happen and we will keep you up to date on the latest and greatest happening there but let's get to one more chart that really paints a clear picture of what's happening in the big picture now we're on the monthly chart and before we show you the three box theory we need to show you something more important happening in the monthly RSI a lot of trends happening here a lot of information happening here but we just entered an absolute danger zone with the monthly RSI okay you already know about our level at 71 okay that's from this resistance here back in 2012 and then 2013 and then 2017 and then 2018 that's a major major resistance zone but it starts here it starts at the level from 2012 and the level of 2016 and the resistance here in 2019 and current resistance now in 2021 that level is at 67. so if you look here on the chart it's very clear what's happening okay this is a major danger zone if bitcoin with the monthly rsi is to get above 71 and hold support it will be an absolute rocket ship absolute rocket ship because it's, it's it, it would have broken major major resistance zone here and if we were to hold this major resistance zone as support it's a match made in heaven that will be the proverbial shoot to the moon that's when you would see it but you won't see it until it breaks this major level this was our first test this was our first test of this level since june 2019 we have not tested this level since June 2019 and if you want to get technical we haven't tested this level since June 2016 okay because this one technically got up to it but not quite okay it was that big of a level of resistance where it got rejected slightly early here we got up to it we just got rejected so we need to keep a close eye on there but our three box theory it's still intact this is something we've been covering for 10 months or, or something like that and we're still inside no big problems with price action the problems lie in the rsi now if your question is when to buy bitcoin or when to sell bitcoin you need to watch this video when to sell cryptocurrency three simple steps i'll link it down below i'll also link it here this has helped tons of people so watch that video right now i also want to reference that the indicators you guys know that we've been in the lab for about 10 to 12 months we heard from you hey i want better buy signals i want better sell signals i want indicators that are simple and easy so we went in the lab for 10 to 12 months and boy did we cook up some incredible stuff these indicators blow all the indicators out of the water in terms of keeping it simple and having incredibly strong buy signals and incredibly strong sell signals and a lot of people say hey I don't want to trade i just want to buy and hold so we back tested these versus buying and holding and people that bought and hold versus using our simple indicators to buy and sell these indicators blew the buy and sell out of the water it's not even close like 10 times more 20 times more it, it's it's incredible so those indicators are coming to you very very soon we're going to launch this incredible package and we just wanted to change lives the whole focus of this is like hey let's create some better buys let's create some better sales let's keep it super simple so that if people want to trade you know once a month they can do that if they want to trade once a week they can do that if they want to trade once a quarter 
they can do that. So we built these indicators and custom designed them with buy and sell alerts right to your phone. It's all coming to you very soon. I'm super excited about that. I hope you are as well. And I will see you right back here on the next video. Make sure you watch that video uh, that's right down below my big face. It will help you tremendously. We'll see you next time. Peace and love.